What's going on guys? I've been wanting to make this video ever since I hydro dipped my Tipman because as you may or may not know, I love to customize my guns. Today, I'm gonna walk you step by step through the process of hydro dipping. Now this is going to focus on a Glock 18 slide, but the process is the same for anything else you would wanna hydro dip. Larger items may just need more than one dip. First off, you're going to need a few things in addition to the item that you're hydro dipping. You're gonna need a Rubbermaid container, big enough for your piece to fit into, paint remover, white primer for a base coat, a hydrographic film design of your choice, eBay is a great option, hydrographic film activator, once again eBay is a great option, and you're going to need a clear coat to seal and protect the final paint job. As always you can find links to all the products I use in the description below. Since my Glock slide is already painted black, I don't want to paint over the pre-existing paint, so I'm going to strip off all the paint with the paint remover. I'm also going to be removing the paint from my outer barrel, so I threw both items in a metal painting dish and covered all sides with the paint remover. After about 15 minutes of soaking, I took both parts to the sink and scraped off all remaining paint with a metal brush. Alright, our parts are looking nice and clean. The outer barrel is going to stay like that, so let's just focus on the slide. To get the most vibrant colors out of your design, you're going to need to apply a base coat of white to the part. I really cannot emphasize enough how important it is to mix your paint. The same goes for the activator later on. Shake your cans good for about a minute or so to really ensure that the spray is coming out evenly. If you get an area too wet with paint, it will show and produce a texture that is extremely hard to remove without starting all over. I set my slide up in my painting station and very carefully spray two to three extremely light coats. Once the slide is looking like a uniform white, I let it dry for 24 hours. Once the white coat has dried, it's time to prepare for the hydro dip. First, I need to cut and tape my graphic. For most graphics, there is a shiny side and a matte side. The shiny side almost always faces down in the water. If you're unsure which side is supposed to face down, lick the tips of your finger and pinch the graphic. The side that sticks to your finger will be the side that faces down. I measure out my container and make sure the piece of film will fit inside it. I want it as close to the edges as possible so the graphic has nowhere to move once it's placed in the container. Once the right piece has been cut, outline the film with a border of masking tape. The graphic is going to turn into liquid once we hit it with the activator, so the masking tape kind of acts as a picture frame and will keep the image contained once the graphic turns into liquid. This helps avoid distorting the images. So my film is ready to dip. I filled my Rubbermaid almost all the way to the top with warm water. The ideal dipping temperature is around 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to shake my activator for a minute before I even lay my graphic down. Alright, now the trick is to try and lay the graphic perfectly on top of the water. We don't want any part of it submerged. So to help achieve this, I fold my graphic in half and lay the middle down in the water as I slowly let the rest follow. As soon as the graphic hits the water, you're going to want to start a timer. The graphic needs about a minute on the water to get hydrated. You can tell this is happening because the graphic will begin to wrinkle and around the one minute mark it should have smoothed back out somewhat. It's at the one minute marker that the graphic is ready for the activator. Shake the activator well and apply it across the graphic in a grid-like fashion. I would keep the same timer as before going. The graphic needs another minute to activate once it's been sprayed. After the one minute mark of the graphic being sprayed with the activator, it's time to dip the piece. I gently touch my graphic and make sure it's in a liquid state. It's good to go, so I get a firm grip on my slide and begin to push it through the film slowly at a 45 degree angle. I'll be honest guys, it's a lot easier said than done. Your first dip may take a few tries, but it is totally worth figuring out. Be sure to hold the piece underwater while you clear away any of the leftover paint on the surface. If you pull the piece back through more of the design, it will overlap the initial dip. My dip went really well. It's hard to cover all sides of a 3D object in one dip, so I made sure to cover the top and sides and any of the spots I missed can be filled in later. Right after the hydro dip, you need to rinse off the film that remains on the outside of your graphic. Gently let the volume of the water rinse the part for 5 to 10 minutes. If you use water pressure, you may ruin the finish of your dip. 
So since my design is a mainly black background, I go in and fill in any unpainted areas with a black Sharpie. It's important to do this step before the clear coat is applied because the Sharpie may have a shine to it, but once you hit everything with a clear coat, the Sharpie and the paint will be a uniform finish. So I am happy with my final touches, time to apply the clear coat. I'm using a glossy finish because I want my slide to kind of have that shine to it. I spray the clear coat in the exact same fashion as my initial white coat. Two to three coats will do. After the clear coat is applied, I like to wait one to two days before reassembling the gun and letting it function. So there you go guys, my entire hydro dipping process. I hope you all go out and paint some seriously awesome stuff. If you want to see my full Glock 18 upgrade video, the link is in the description below. As always, thanks for checking out the video guys. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more.